Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.5b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 24 of the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, see if you can work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So we have a problem. We've got a few different numbers here. We've got some posters being made. We have six students. Each of them get eight pictures. And then they put four animal pictures on each poster that they made. So we're going to be using six, eight, and four. And as you can tell, our three answer selections are all, our four answer selections all include those three digits, six, eight, and fourth question is what do we do with them? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So which equation shows one way to find the number of posters that the students made? Well, this is a story problem. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna draw a little picture here. So, all right, so we're gonna get six students here. And let's make three boys and let's make three girls. And these six students are each going to collect eight pictures. So to represent these eight pictures, I'm just going to put uh, some circles up above them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's going to represent the eight pictures that each student is going to represent. And so you can see I'm skip counting by eight. So I'm halfway done. I've got 24. Now I've got four sets of eight, and that is going to be 32. I've got another set of eight. It's going to be 40. My last set of eight is going to give me 48, because I know that six times eight going to equal 48, or maybe I knew the fact 8 times 6, 48. The community of property lets you flip the order of other multiplication or addition problems, and the sum or the product does not change. So I now have 48 pictures, 6 students, 8 each. What they're going to do though is they're going to make um, some posters now we don't know how many posters, that's what we're trying to figure out is the number of posters that are made. But we do know that they're gonna put four on each poster. So what I can do is I can take my sets of four and I can simply just put a little box around them. So I'm gonna put a little box. So I've got, there's one poster, two posters. So it looks like each of my kids is going to be able to make two posters because each kid's got Four pictures, or eight pictures, excuse me, two sets of four. And so if I look, I can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got 12 posters. And so it looks like that's our answer. Because what we did is we first multiplied. We did the six times eight. We knew that was going to be 48. But then we divided it into sets of four. And we took the 48, divided it into sets of four, and we had two rows of six, or in this case, we had 12. So G is going to be our answer. Let's take a look at why the other ones are incorrect. Well, if you take a look at F, they just took each of the three numbers and they just added them. And six plus eight plus four, that does make 18. But that doesn't make any sense. We have um, obviously 12 posters, but when we're gonna get six, and eight. The six and eight is going to a a equal 14. It doesn't get you nearly enough original um, uh, posters or original pictures. And so even if the answer is kind of close, that original number of pictures is not nearly enough. H is kind of close because we are going to at least multiply six times eight, but instead of dividing by four, they multiply by four, so your answer is way too large. You're not going to make 192 posters. You need to put them in groups of four. And then J has got all kinds of problems. You're adding and then you're subtracting. You're getting kind of close. But you're not getting the, a good, correct number of original uh, pictures, which is the first step, and that's 48. So our answer is G.